Did participation trophies doom a generation? I think we all know that sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. I think we all know that inherent in life, there's a chance that something's going to fail. But still, sometimes the, the risk of failure can be overwhelming. And if you feel that way, this might help. I have a complicated relationship with failure because on the one hand, I totally agree with the mantra from Adam Savage, one half of the TV show Mythbusters, who says, failure, failure is always an option. is always an option. I love that saying because it gives me permission to try something risky, to, to go further than I think I can because at the end of the day, failure is always an option. And if I fail, I'll just throw it out and try again. That sort of feeling frees me, knowing that failure is an option, it, it frees me to try things that I'm not comfortable trying. For instance, I was baking cookies the other day, I was going to visit some friends and they asked me to bring dessert. And if you ask me, there's not a better dessert than a warm homemade chocolate chip cookie. You can keep your creme brulees and your baked Alaskas. But I was multitasking, as I am wont to do. There was a video playing on the iPad, I had some laundry going, it was a very domestic day for me. And I put the cookies in the oven and I was beginning to clean up behind myself and I found a bowl of flour, already perfectly measured out, ready to go in the cookie dough. I grabbed the cookie dough out of the fridge and sure enough, there was something wrong with it. The batter was missing the flour. Now, I could have just at that moment thrown everything away and decided not to go visit my friends. That feels like a natural response sometimes to failure, wanting to just shut down. I could have taken the easy route, thrown everything away and gone to the store, but because failure is always an option, I decided I would try it. What's the worst that could happen? I might fail. So I took the cookie dough out of the oven, it had melted and there were streaks of chocolate running through it. It was this big mess. And I scraped it back into the bowl with the rest of the dough. I added the flour and mixed it all together. It turned kind of brown. It, it didn't look right, but I went ahead and tried it anyways. So I baked the cookies and while they didn't look perfect, they turned out great. My biggest problem at that point was trying to figure out how I was going to replicate this in the future. Failure is always an option. Sometimes you end up throwing it away and starting over, but sometimes if you take the risk of failure, you can end up with something surprisingly good. But I said that I have a complicated relationship with failure, and that's because sometimes the thing that you're working on, you have to follow through. That, that out that failure is always an option gives you just doesn't exist. And in those moments, in those instances where I feel like I might end up failing, but I need to go through anyways, I'm. I'm comforted by the realization that time isn't causal. There's nothing that I can do, as far as we know, there is nothing that we can do to stop the sun from setting tonight and the sun from rising tomorrow. No matter how big your failure, the sun will set and the sun will rise. And when the sun rises, it brings with it the hope of a new day. And a new day means more chances to do better, chances to apologize or atone for the mistake, chances to try again, chances for redemption. There's always a new day coming. And the fact that we have no control over the ability to stop time. The fact that time isn't causal gives me a lot of relief when I'm worried that I'm going to mess up and that I'm going to fail because there's nothing that I can do to stop that new day from coming. And sometimes it doesn't come the way that we want, but there's always the hope of a new day. Mm -hmm.